All right, let's take a look at the playing of the great B.B. King. Riley B. B.B. King was born in Itabetta, Mississippi in 1925, and he's influenced more blues and rock guitar players than any guitarist that has ever lived. With his immediately recognizable sound, very vocal-like in quality, which can run the range from uh, sharp attack to delicate beauty, uh, his incredible vibrato, uh, B.B. Box type phrasing, uh, B.B. features his guitar Lucille as the perfect foil for his vocal excursions. B.B. was influenced directly by such blues players as T-Bone Walker, Booker White, and Robert Jr. Lockwood, and also has an affinity for the jazz sounds of Django Reinhardt and Wes Montgomery, Johnny Moore, and Charlie Christian. Recording such as The Thrill Is Gone, Every Day I Have the Blues, and Sweet Little Angel are prime examples of B.B.'s expertise. Countless guitar players such as Jimi Hendrix, Eric Clapton, Steve Ray Vaughan have pointed to B.B. King's live record, Live at the Regal, as one of the greatest blues albums ever recorded. B.B. is known for playing Gibson ES-335, 345, and 355 guitars, and for the last number of years he's had his own signature 335 style guitar. He likes to string his guitar with light top heavy bottom strings, 10, through 54, and through his career he's used Fender and Gibson amplifiers. B.B. King brought a great sophistication and uptown feeling to a lot of the blues that he recorded. And one of the great examples of that would be the playing that he did on Every Day I Have the Blues. This next example is played in that style. <laughs> 